Before removing respirators or protective clothing, it will be necessary for workers to vacuum off each other's outer surfaces. Carefully vacuum all exterior surfaces, including the soles of the footwear. With the vacuuming complete, all disposable protective clothing may now be removed. The air-fed respirator can now be replaced with a disposable single-use respirator. Air-fed respirators and tools used during the rip-out are placed in disposal bags and returned to the tool control point. For those wearing the three-piece suit, remove all tape from the ankles, wrists, and neck openings. This done, unzipper and remove the coverall. Do this by taking hold of the sleeve cuffs by the fingertips, then slipping the coverall off the shoulders, turning it inside out as it is pulled down. This procedure keeps any surface dust contained and presents the inner clean surface for further handling. Continue to turn the coverall inside out while removing from legs and feet. After removal, place the coverall into a disposal bag. Remove the head cover and place in the bag. And finally, remove and bag each shoe cover stepping from the drop cloth onto the clean deck as this is done. Now, remove the protective gloves by turning them inside out as they come off. The last item to be removed and discarded is the disposable respirator. Sack suits are removed in a similar inside-out fashion and deposited in a disposal bag. Before leaving the area, vacuum off completely once more, including the soles of your shoes. Back at the dirty change room, the cloth coveralls must be treated as being contaminated. Therefore, remove and deposit them in the specially labeled laundry container. They will be completely clean before being returned for reuse. And finally, if you or your supervisor deems it necessary, shower before changing back into your street clothes. This step will eliminate the slightest chance of spreading any asbestos contamination beyond the workplace to your family or your fellow workers.